Welcome back friends. Well, here we are once again. Scott is claiming the dear doctor has been censored. But there is a twist that really puts a nail in the coffin of the supposed intelligence of some people. Listen on. Oh, okay, Scott, I'll do that. Um, so I received this email from um, the Dean of the Faculty of Science. And it is copied to the head of school. That's the man who first wrote that letter that told me I was under investigation. And that when my lawyer looked at the, at the letter, he said, well, it can be argued that this letter is a constructive dismissal. So um, since then, I've asked what were the results of the investigation and it's been quite a few weeks. So today I got the response from the Dean. So I'm going to read the letter. And it says, Dear Claudia, as you are aware, your so-called white papers on the alleged existence of a brown dwarf in the inner solar system have created considerable discussion on social media. Some feel that this contention for which there is no any unequivocal evidence constitutes bad science and could be damaging to the reputation of the university and that you should be censored. So there's the word censored. I can't believe the that man, this man used that word. And he spelled it wrong. Yes, he did. It's spelled C-E-N-S-U-R-E-D. So there you have it, folks. Somebody who doesn't understand the word censured. I wonder if Scott will change the title of his video, seeing as he was ranting about being censored. I doubt it very much because he's never taken a video down in his life, even if he has been shown to be wrong. And you would think a person with a PhD would know what being censured was. We wouldn't actually know what the word meant, rather than going, Oh dear, they've spelt it wrong. Oh well, at least she's still free to perpetuate the bollocks she's been speaking. God help us. <coughs> okay, so then he continues. The matter was discussed by a group of five academics appointed by the Vice-Chancellor. Now the Vice-Chancellor is the head of the university. He's right at the top. The wow. recommendations of this group, yeah which the Vice-Chancellor has accepted are as follows. The committee recommends to the Vice-Chancellor that no disciplinary action be taken against Dr. Albus at this stage. The statement given at the end of this report be sent to all who have communicated with the university, complaining or questioning Dr. Albus' views and that the statement be sent in response to all future communications received in this regard. Dr. Albers may not teach these unsubstantiated views to her classes and must adhere to the curriculum as drawn up by the School of Physics and approved by the Board of the Faculty of Science. Should Dr. Albers teach these views or in any way allude to them during the teaching of her courses, disciplinary action will be taken against her. Although she was not you, she has not used a WITS affiliation in her so-called white papers. The links between her opinions and a WITS position are virtually unavoidable and therefore damage the reputation of the university. She may not use a WITS affiliation in any future writings which are not submitted to established peer-reviewed conferences and journals. Dr. Albers be informed of these recommendations in writing and in a meeting with the head of school and the dean. I am therefore informing you in writing of these recommendations and the vice chancellor's decision to implement them. When you come back to work, I would like to meet with you and Professor, okay, I won't mention his name, to answer, that's the head of school, to answer any questions that you might have on this matter. 
the statement that will be sent to those who have identified themselves to the university and have asked for the university's views on the matter is as follows. The University of the Witwatersrand, Johannesburg, has recently become aware of various public assertions purporting to suggest that they may be a brown dwarf star in the inner solar system. These comments appear to be the subject of much debate on social media platforms and are attributed to Dr. Albers, a lecturer in the School of Physics. The essence of the claim is that this brown dwarf is drawing the energy out of the sun. The university supports the freedom of people to hold and discuss contrarian views. In fact, the debate of conflicting views is at the heart of scholarship and constitutes healthy debate. However, insofar as the sciences are concerned, the principles of the scientific method must guide the process. The ultimate test of any hypothesis must be its exposure to experimentation. Only those that have stood the test of peer review can be held up as truths. Again, you see, Scott, the peer review system, the gatekeepers, that's what they use to stop the information from coming out. Exactly. The ba- yeah. Debate outside this framework constitutes bad science, and the university distances itself from such practice. The university also wishes to affirm that the curriculum that shapes the teaching of physics at the university is set by the School of Physics and endorsed by the quality assurance mechanisms of the university. All academic staff members are required to teach students within the framework of this curriculum. Yours sincerely, HMM, I want to say his name, Dean Faculty of Science. Boy, he's a, now, he's a real piece yeah. of crap. <laughs> yeah. So basically, then, that's, uh, that's, 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 that's it right there. That is, that is the shut up notice that um, mm-hmm. I kind of figured sooner or later during this process. The scientific method is a body of techniques for investigating phenomena, acquiring new knowledge or correcting and integrating previous knowledge. To be termed scientific, a method of inquiry is commonly based on empirical or measurable evidence subject to specific principles of reasoning. The Oxford Dictionaries Online define the scientific method as a method or procedure that characterised natural sciences since the 17th century, consisting in systematic observations, measurement and experiment, and the formulation testing and modification of hypotheses. Experiments need to be designed to test hypotheses. The most important part of the scientific method is the experiment. The scientific method is a continuous process, which usually begins with observations about the natural world. Human beings are naturally inquisitive, so they often come up with questions about things they see or hear and often develop ideas, hypotheses, about why things are the way they are. The best hypotheses lead to predictions that can be tested in various ways, including making further observations about nature. In general, the strongest tests of hypotheses come from carefully controlled and replicated experiments that gather empirical data. Depending on how well the tests match the predictions, the original hypotheses may require refinement, alteration, expansion or even rejection. If a particular hypothesis becomes very well supported, a general theory may be developed. Although procedures vary from one field of inquiry to another, identifiable features are frequently shared in common between them. The overall process of scientific method involves making conjectures, hypotheses, deriving predictions from them as logical consequences, and then carrying out experiments based on those predictions. A hypothesis is a conjecture based on knowledge obtained while formulating the question. The hypothesis might be very specific or it might be broad. Scientists then test hypotheses by conducting experiments. Under modern interpretations, a scientific hypothesis must be falsifiable, implying that it is possible to identify a possible outcome 
of an experiment that conflicts with predictions deduced from the hypotheses. Otherwise, the hypothesis cannot be meaningfully tested. Well, that sounds very clear. And if you look at the diagram, that also seems really clear. In essence, a scientist is their own gatekeeper. If they cannot produce a good enough experiment to demonstrate their reasoning, then they won't make the grade. And the scientific method is there to ensure that only good quality, real, provable science gets through. Not mumbo-jumbo pseudoscience as is being touted and flouted around YouTube. Um, it really is starting to sound like sour grapes on someone's part. So, Miss Albers, why not forget the fantasy rubbish? Go do some real science. Get away from these cretins because they're just going to drag you down with them. And they don't care. And please stop insulting the rest of us who have the intelligence to know when we hear bollocks. Thank you.